Hey everyone. Uh, this morning, real quick, I thought we'd get into um, a bit deeper into some of these mindset conversations that we've been having. So a couple of episodes back I talked about the paradigm shift that you need to start to orchestrate or at least start to vision in your organisation. Um, and we also talked about last week the, the real work of change makers and that it's not about the method or the technique you use but it's about building that team and getting people on side and, and helping them to have a mindset shift as well. And um, so this week I wanted to talk about this concept in a little bit more detail and that is that sometimes the mindset shift, sometimes the change can't come from within us. Sometimes we've got to go outside of ourselves. And so when we're looking for a new perspective, we need to be looking for diversity. Now, super common, we all know that diversity of thought and diversity of perspective makes for different decision, for better decisions, different and better decisions, right? And so um, I was reminded recently of an organization I came into contact with who had, um, they, they're looking for a new um, leader. And somebody had made this really off the cuff statement that, oh, needed to be a male in that role because there's a whole bunch of women at that level. And um, in a moment of um, possibly not my finest hour, um, I, I may have said something to the effect of where are the gender diverse, racially diverse, um, young, the old, you know, where are all these other people that are missing at that level? And I think sometimes it's really easy to kind of find ourselves in a situation where we think that we're thinking outside of the box and actually we're not. Uh, and... And so diversity has to be about going broader than some of those experiences that we've had and really, really trying to step outside of our box. And that's hard. So one of the, one of the things that I do is uh, I follow people and pages that have wildly different perspectives on life to me. Uh, it's a practice that I've got into in the last few years around going out and actively seeking somebody who has a different perspective. The internet is full of people who are documenting their story on social media um, and the likes and actively going out and choosing to find someone who has a different perspective to you on a particular topic. Um, one of the people that I followed recently, uh, Jeffrey Marsh, they do an amazing job with their page and you know I land up upon this person's page after searching for a little bit and probably going through three or four, five, six, ten thousand sources before I found this person and their message and their way of delivering that message really resonated with me and they were coming into uh, a conversation from a totally different angle than I had ever experienced and so that was one that really landed and I grabbed that and kind of held on to it and so I've continued to follow Jeffrey and found their words very, very useful. Uh, and I think that's something that we need to actively do. So what I realized as I was reflecting and before sort of recording this, I realized that it's probably a three-month cycle for me. So probably once every three months, the newsfeed gets a bit stale and I will actively go out and find someone new. And I think that's a really, really good habit for you to get into. So that we're building diversity of perspective, not only between gender identities, which is obviously a very common conversation in the boardroom um, and in corporate kind of executive life, uh, but diversity of socioeconomic background, diversity of age, the, you know, intergenerational teams, diversity of racial mixes, diversity of backgrounds, where people grew up and why, and dig deeper into that so that you're not just picking people that on the surface look different to you, but are actually fundamentally coming from a different perspective. That way, you can start to use diversity to help to shift your mindset, and that mindset shift can start to come from both within you, from the work you're doing actively on yourself, but also externally, and it can come from without. So that's what I want to share today on my cold, frosty morning walk down to the cafe. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day. Drop me a chat below, um, hit me up, I'd love to hear your opinion.